For eight decades, they've been playing at the Rose Bowl, the one they call the granddaddy of them all. But only twice has number one met number two. The last time was 1969. At the end of this season, it's guaranteed to happen again. The Hurricanes of Miami coming west. The Nebraska Cornhuskers were last year, 1941. To the victor will go the crown as college football's national champion. into the Rose Bowl. These Cornhuskers have five national championships. They've played in 33 consecutive postseason bowl games. They're 11 and 1 in the season past and got here by less than a point in the BCS Bowl. But they are here and their necks are bowed. Now here are the Kings, the Hurricanes of Miami. The only undefeated team in the top division of college football. The Canes have won four national championships and are still miffed. They didn't get to play in the big game last year. Everyone expected Miami to be here in 2002 when we know it was their record in 2001 that got them here. Miami believes it was in September of 2000 that their journey began. 21 consecutive wins for them to get here in that time. They only lost two halves of football. Now don't be deceived by defensive backs that can get out there and steal the ball. Or guys who are so fast, I think warp speed is cruise control. What got them here was character and discipline. And down in five for the Miami Hurricanes. They're going to put it in the air. They go down the middle with it. And the pass is caught by Shockey, the big tight end. And he's got a first down out at the 32-yard line. Crouch, quick drop. Takes off up the middle and quick recovery by Andrew Williams. Andre Williams stayed home. And suddenly there was a quarterback right in his sights and he took him down. The Canes, they go to the... Shotgun formation. Dorsey gets it off down the middle, and it is caught. They go to the big guy again, Jeremy Shockey. He is 6'6, 246 pounds. He's a junior, and he is from Ada, Oklahoma. Keith, their tight ends getting off the line of scrimmage too freely. Here he is. They're splitting him just a little bit, and he's taking that middle. They're running too deep. They're running man on the outside. He's got to be hit off that line of scrimmage. And then Booker, the safety 14, has got to get over there quicker. He's looking for the hit, not looking for the ball. Had he broken quicker, he would have had an interception. Let's see. Down the line. He kept it turned and turned inside the traffic and was taken down in a hurry. Crouch hands the ball away to uh, Thunder Collins, and uh, they just jump all over him. Uh, William Joseph, 282-pound junior out of Miami. Take it to the fullback, keep it. They run that belly series well, but this time Miami defends it. That ball might have come out. It did, I think. Miami says we've got it. The officials have not agreed yet. Well, if now, now they do. Oh. Miami ball. DJ Williams, I think, is the man that knocks it loose. It's hard to tell. It looked to me like he was out before that knee hit, though. McDougal comes out with the ball. It is a fumble, no matter. And it's first down Miami at the Nebraska 49-yard line. And immediately the Canes will try to strike deep as they go down the middle, and it is touchdown. Andre Johnson was all by himself. I think Craver fell down. Crouch, which was a bang bang play, was the ball out? Did his knee hit first? Nonetheless, Miami gets it. It's like running downfield. Craver falls on the man press coverage. Johnson makes the catch all by himself. Nobody around him. Miami takes advantage of the turnover. It's not very deep. And Davis comes up to about the 12 yard line to take it. Looks for a hole up the middle of the field. Ball's loose. They fumble to football. The Kings dive after it. Miami's got it. 35 yard line of Nebraska. First down for the Kings. Kevin Beard has come on now as a wide out for. Ended it off to Portis. There he goes. That's the first hand as we go to the second quarter of play. Dorsey pumps it once. Now he's going deep. And 
and it is caught, but did he get it inbound? Yes, sir. He did at the Nebraska 39 yard line. Theo Craver losing the struggle with Andre Johnson. Give it to Portis. Lost his balance, but Whoa, keeps on out. going, and he might tear it open. Touchdown. They thought they had him. They didn't wrap him, and suddenly he was gone. The extra point, five plays, 86 yards, a minute and a half, and it's 14 zip. Designed for Crouch. They're on third and seven right now. The ball is whipped downfield. Intercepted, went right through the hands of the receiver, and it's touchdown Miami, James Lewis. And he was open, and the pass was there. He's open, there's the ball, goes through his hands, there's the pick. And the floodgates are now open. Seaver's kick is good. And you've got 12.52 to play, and Nebraska's killing itself. Turnovers, and Miami is cashing them in. They lead 21 to nothing. High kick, not too deep. Davis at the six. Takes a pretty good lick up around the 19 yard line, but he holds on to the ball. Officially the 20. Oh, I'll tell you. On second and 11, here's an option to the left side. Pitch it back to Diedrich. Oh, there's nothing there. There's five white shirts over there. Five. Cast it just like they own the register. Going deep on this play. Got a man up there. He's got the ball. It's Andre Johnson who is having a career night. They can't cover him. The ball is inside the 30 yard line down at the 20 position for the Canes. At the Nebraska 21 yard line, Dorsey back looking to the end zone. It's touchdown. Shucky. Wow. They're making it look easy. Shockey came out of the backfield that time. That's and then just come back this way. It's like a skinny post from the fullback position. A little motion, get out in the flats, turn it up, and the ball's waiting for him right there at the five yard line. Just can't throw it up any better than that. You have to wonder where the defenders are. It's not that complicated of a play. 27 to nothing. Okay. High kick coming down at the two yard line to Josh Davis. Oh, he had no chance. I mean, they were down there like rockets. Winslow. Kellen Winslow again. Crouch from the 11. Turns, hands the ball inside, and uh, there's a yard maybe for Judd Davis. Saska, because Larry comes from Okima, Oklahoma. Here's Crouch just sandwiched. Coming from the blind side, uh, it was Howard Clark. D.J. Williams had him occupied, and Clark just nailed it. Crouch never saw him coming. Now he's coming from the back side, and when Crouch goes back to him, there's 17. Down in five. Crouch taken down behind the line of scrimmage, back around the 26-yard line. And Nebraska's going to have to punt it away. Pretty good one here. Room to return it, however, by uh, Buchanan. Bull looking for some help and got some. Stepped out of bounds at about the 44 for Miami, where it's third down and 18. Dorsey back, a little short drop, throws it down the middle. Ball is caught by Kevin Beard. Uh, no, Andre Johnson, and Johnson is going to have another first down. Dorsey. Inside the 10 complete to Jeremy Shucky, the tight end. Dorsey, time, throws, touchdown. Johnson. Understand. There's no pull on that. He no, just separated. He just came in. Yeah. Go on, go on. Kick is good. It is 34 to nothing. Miami with 335 to play in the first half. And it's quiet. At the Rose Bowl. There were the three turnovers, and then from that point Whoa. on, it's just gotten worse. And coming right up the middle to make a big play is a fellow named Vince Wilfork. 
He is a freshman. He's 6'2", 346 pounds. I will spell the name W I L F O R K. Nebraska's got a lot of class, though, and they came out swinging, and I expect they will this entire half. Well, they're not going to surrender now for the Huskers as they go to the shotgun, and uh, Crouch has no chance. He's got nobody to throw it to, and by the time he uh, wanted to make a move with it, Buchanan had a hold of him, and that'll do it. And here Miami, and from that point on, the Canes have just been efficient. That's all. Nothing fancy. Like things like this, they just keep on pounding away. Dorsey throws it, Beards caught it, and uh, he's got a first down up near the 44. Look at this formation. Dorsey, little quick one, it's completed. There's your first down. And then some, all the way down to the 32 yard line. Kevin Beard getting his second reception. Dorsey, pressure, pass, caught, Johnson. Andre Johnson continues to light him up. Finally tracked down by Dewan Gross. Black shirts trying to hold here. They get a little heat on Dorsey. The pass is thrown away to the sidelines. Pass is caught again. I'll give you one guess who caught it. Yeah, exactly. Johnson. For uh, Miami. And this is Portis. No, 37 it's... yards. He's got a big leg. And he's five for six from this range. Plenty of distance, and he got it. And so that makes it a 37 to 14 ball game and 10 04 to play. Rod Seavers has three. The yard line for the first down. Pitch back to Diedrich, and they're going to eat him up. We saw him work that play in practice. They were going to have Diedrich throw it to the fullback, Judd Davey. Diedrich got some room. Oh, Whoa. oh boy, there's a hit. Vilma, number 51. Read him, read him, tuck your tail, sky your eyes, and boom! Put him on his back. Perfect. Hat to hat. Well, I'll tell you this, partner. Here they come. It's going to be cold, too, because it's yeah, a chilly night in Pasadena. Brought, I hope you sent some uh, clothes with him, because it's, uh, it's a long drive back to Century City, <laughs> soft and wet. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Uh, Look at his face. Yeah, run a little reverse action and get something out of it. Oh, oh. another ball comes out. You'll see in football. And I told you they aren't trash talking or popping collars, but I don't blame them for getting excited on this. And I and and I you know you got a player hurt, you don't want to say too much, but this is a picture perfect tackle. You dream of hits like that when you're a defender. Ben Zajek is the uh, man injured on the play. When you hit a golf ball perfectly, it's a little click. When you make a tackle like that perfectly, it feels like a click. Because they they are certainly the champions. Two great programs, one champion. The Miami Hurricanes. Now let's join Todd Harris on the field. EPs, quarterback number 11, Ken Dorsey. And his primary target, his primary target, Andre Johnson. Congratulations to both of you. Poker. On behalf of all of us at Sears and the American Football Coaches Association, it's my pleasure to present the Sears National Championship Football Trophy to you, your team, and the Hurricane fans everywhere. Congratulations on a perfect season, an outstanding performance here tonight, and all the best in winning your very first Sears Trophy. Congratulations. Please pick up the ball. All the best. Dorsey, you've been so outstanding this year. You said it didn't matter whether you had to hand the ball off every play or throw it every play. The most important thing to you was the team, and the team functioned well this afternoon. It, it, it was great. Um, you know, the entire team deserves to be MVPs tonight because our defense really stepped up to a challenge, and they did a great job. Our offensive line, our receivers, everybody played an amazing game, and we had to against a great opponent. Andre, step right over here. 
It seemed, Andre, that you were a man among boys. Anything you wanted to do this evening, you got it done. Well, before the season, uh, the receivers were overlooked. And uh, the day I came out, I felt like I had something to prove. So I just came out here and brought my A game. But all my teammates, man, they came to play. They brought the A game and all them my MVPs. An outstanding team. Coach, again, congratulations to you and the entire Miami program.